Welcome to this quick tips episode on airlocks. I'll be reviewing different types of popular airlocks and discuss how they work as well as their pros and cons. Just to be clear, videos from this series are primarily targeted at newer players, but feel free to stick around even if you're a pro. Airlocks address the risk that other players who camp in front of your door kill you when you exit and then run into your base to steal your loot. This is what people refer to as going deep. The simplest form of an airlock is to have more than two doors. However, skilled players may just kill you multiple times and go deep this way. The best types of airlocks solve this by making sure that if doors are open, they block the entrance, preventing players from running past them. In this video, I'm going to discuss three types of airlocks. The most popular airlock type is having two single doors and a triangle. The outer door can either be placed on the left or on the right hand side. If the doorway is placed on the left hand side, the outer door will block the passage through the inner doorway. This has the advantage that the outer door alone is sufficient to make the airlock work. The disadvantage is that door campers can enter the triangle airlock and closing the outer door would allow them to go deep. Thus, if you got killed with the outer door open, do not close it unless the triangle is clear of enemy players. Really dedicated door campers might even backward pick the door frame. If the doorway is placed on the right hand side, the inner door blocks the outer doorway. Thus, to make this airlock work, you need to have the inner door open when opening the outer door. Ideally, the outer door opens inward, so you can open and close it easily from within the base. The advantage of this design is that when you follow this advice, door campers cannot enter the triangle, making it a safer design to fight door campers actively. However, if you forget to keep the inner door open while opening the outer door, campers can get into the triangle and you cannot open the inner door safely anymore, which means you also cannot fight them anymore. The second type of airlock can be created by combining a double door with a single door. The double door needs to open towards the single door frame, and when it's open, players cannot pass through the single door frame anymore. This airlock has similar properties to the triangle airlock with the door on the right hand side. It requires to have the double door open when opening the outer door, but then raiders cannot get past the first door frame. You can also have the double door on the outside. In this case, the airlock has the same characteristics as the triangle airlock with the door on the left hand side. Please note that with this design, pro players might be able to push each other through the gap. The single door can also be replaced with a chain-link fence gate or a prison cell gate. This allows you to shoot through the outer door without opening it, enabling you to fight door campers from extra safety. However, this also means that you can get targeted through the door, so it's a double-edged sword. Finally, you can combine two single doors this way. If both doors are open, players cannot get past them easily. In my opinion, this airlock has the weakest characteristics, as it has both downsides. You need to remember to leave the inner door open, door campers can still get past the outer door frame, and they're even able to backward pick the outer door frame. And if that wasn't enough, raiders can push each other through the gap by jumping on their head. But nevertheless, sometimes circumstances can make this airlock the only realistic option. Of course, these are not the only ways to create airlocks. I'm sure people have come up with way more advanced techniques, such as using objects to block off the entrance, or the clever use of building blocks. In any case, I hope this little guide on airlocks contains something useful for you. Until then, Evil Wurst, out.